This is module number six, the module on motivation and engagement. Of course, always in an educational context. In this module, we want to explore first a number of very basic uh, motivation concepts and theories, uh, theories which are, are originated already in, in the 30s, 40s and 50s. Um, first, some, some basic principles related to three basic needs motivation theories the start of motivation psychology so to speak then we make a step further and um, explore some more advanced concepts expectancy value attribution and self-efficacy which arose let's say in the 50s in the 70s and the 80s of the last century these are the, together are the sort of, you know, foundation of uh, our understanding of motivation, motivation in education. And these concepts and principles have been used uh, in the development of self-determination theory, which is a more encompassing framework. Uh, and, and, and another step further is a, is a step towards also, let's say, taking the social environment of the classroom into consideration and then we arrive at the concept of engagement which is even more encompassing than self-determination theory you probably understand by now that these three um, building blocks of our understanding of motivation in education are related to the three perspectives on learning, the behaviorist, the cognitivist and the constructivist perspective. And we would like you to understand, of course, how these relationships um, exist. And then as a last goal of this module, uh, we are going to, to, to develop some guidelines Make, making use of the various motivation theories, some guidelines for teachers who want to foster uh, motivated learners. And that is the last step in this module. So we have, in fact, four, th four steps. First, the basic motivation theories, then self-determination theory, then engagement, and then the implementation in uh, guidelines for teachers. Okay.